Hello and welcome to the R Reviews. Today we're going to be comparing the WWE Elite line to the new line of WWE Ultimates using Shinsuke Nakamura. So here we have the first Elite Nakamura, which was the Defining Moments one, a more modern Elite Nakamura, which is from Series 63, and the newly released WWE Ultimates Nakamura. And the goal is to see how big of an improvement Ultimates are over the old Elites, and if they're worth getting into. Now your standard WWE Elites retail for somewhere around $20, whereas the new Ultimates retail for somewhere around $30. So there needs to be at least a $10 improvement in quality if you're going to want to switch from Elites to Ultimates. So let's go ahead and get into it and see if that improvement of quality is there. In terms of sculpt and paintwork, there's not really a massive amount of difference. The sculpt is slightly different because of the new articulation in certain areas. But there's basically still only paint in a very small amount of areas, and the sculpting is pretty basic, but accurate to what it should be. So there's not really any improvement in that area. The only thing that I could say that you might count as improvement is that the wristbands on the Ultimate are sculpted pieces instead of just being painted on like they are on the Elites. Head sculpt-wise, if you compare the Ultimates to the old Elite Nakamura, you can see that there is a massive improvement in head sculpt quality as uh, Mattel has recently started doing face printing. But if you compare it to a more recent Nakamura Elite, you can see that they're basically the same head. So the actual detail of the sculpt and the face printing is not an improvement over current Elites. What you do get as an improvement is you do get three different heads. And while some of the current Elites are getting multiple heads, most of them are not, and the Ultimates seem to always be coming with extra heads. So variety of head sculpt is certainly an improvement that the Ultimates has going for it. Articulation is what I was hoping they would make the biggest improvement on, and while there is some improvement, it's not quite up to the level that I would have hoped it would be at. Heads are still on ball pegs, basically the same kind of range of motion. The Ultimate feels like it might be a little bit better, but it's pretty much the same. Shoulders move in and out, forward and back, about the same range of motion. Bicep cut. Double jointed elbows were added on the Ultimates, which is a really nice improvement, probably the best improvement that they made. Hinge and rotation in the wrist. They added a ball peg to the diaphragm instead of the standard abdominal joint, which could have been an improvement, and I guess it kinda still is, but it really does not move any further forward and back, so all you're getting is a little bit of extra side to side. If they had engineered this a little bit better, that is a better kind of joint that offers for more mobility, but this particular one didn't really improve mobility that much. You still have the waist cut. Hips are the same. Move in and out, forward and back. Thigh cut. Double joint and knees are the same. The ankles feel like they might be slightly different, but they still have about the same range of mobility. And you get the toe joint, which is a trivial addition. It's minorly useful, but not a big improvement. Certainly not something that I would have gone out of my way to add to something, but I won't complain about it being there. So you get some minor articulation improvements, but overall it really doesn't help that much. The main thing they should have focused on, in addition to the double jointed elbows, which are a very appreciated improvement, is shoulder and hip mobility. Giving the ultimate some butterfly joints or just some sort of improved shoulder joint would be really helpful and improving the mobility of the hips, either by just re-engineering them or using some different kind of joint, would be massively appreciated. It's still very difficult to get these kind of figures into a lot of different wrestling poses, even though they are slightly better than Elites. Accessories is another front where the Ultimates do make a pretty substantial improvement. If you look at the original Elite Nakamura, you can see that he comes with two different entrance vests. They're big rubbery pieces that inhibit chest articulation, but they look decent enough. If you move on to the more modern Elite Nakamura, he comes with this really horrible, like, vinyl-y cloth coat that is just ugly, and I hate it. But it doesn't inhibit articulation as much, I guess that's good, and he also comes with an extra set of posed hands. But then the Ultimate Nakamura has his entrance attire in a swappable arm form, as well as a rubber chest piece, so the only thing that it really inhibits is the chest articulation. You still get the full double-jointed elbows and everything in the new swappable arms. And you also get three sets of hands instead of two or just one, like you would with the Elites. 
Doing entrance attire as swappable parts is a massive improvement over horrible rubber coats and stuff, so I certainly can't fault them for that. Elites nowadays have started always coming with more than one set of hands, so the extra sets of hands on the Ultimates is not really that big of an improvement. But the swappable arms and entrance attire stuff is a really big deal, and I very much so appreciate that. Well, that pretty much wraps us up for all the differences, so all we need to figure out now is, are Ultimates better than WWE Elites? Well, yes, they are. They are absolutely better than Elites. Are they worth the price point increase? I would say that if we were still dealing with old elites like the first Shinsuke Nakamura, yeah, they're probably worth the price increase. But compared to modern elites, which now have better head sculpts, have started including more accessories anyway, eh, it's debatable. The articulation improvement is really not that impressive, and that's really what I was hoping would be improved on. The extra heads and increase in amount of accessories is nice, but they don't appeal to me as much as an articulation improvement would. Overall, I can't say that I'm really impressed enough with Ultimates to swap over to them entirely. Probably what I'm going to do is only get Ultimates of people that I really, really like, which Nakamura is one of. Or if they release an Ultimate of someone that hasn't gotten a decent Elite figure yet, I might also consider one of those. But I would say in general, if they released an Ultimate and an Elite right now of the same person, I would probably get the Elite in most scenarios. Now, if Mattel ever wants to go back to the drawing board and add some more articulation to these things, I would be totally down for that, but at their current level of articulation, I'm really not willing to pay too much more for them, even with all their extra bits and bobs. So until next time, goodbye! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my content, feel free to subscribe and click that little bell thing. I've been told that that does something or other. You can also give me money to buy toys at patreon.com slash VR reviews, see pictures of toys at instagram.com slash VR reviews, or see tweets about toys at venomraptor09 on Twitter. And I would greatly appreciate you doing any of those things.